I started my investment in silver mainly as a default to the realization that everything else is just a digital illusion of wealth. Through my study of history, financing, and psychology, I saw that all the money in the world, the very units that we use to buy all other assets, is simply a debt instrument owed to privately owned central bankers. And that through studying how they rose to power, you start to see the importance of silver to them, the multi-generational war against silver, because it acted as a natural restrictor to their unbridled greed. I saw silver as the diversification from all these digital illusions of wealth, and that the very valuations of all these assets depended solely on the creation of more and more debt and death throughout the world. I saw how ominous their power was and pervasive, and that there would be no systemic change. But I also saw that the thing that they worried about the most is for consciously aware individuals to realize that they don't need to play in their rigged game. People are troubled that a very vague, emotionally stated, semi-theologically defined diagnosis of the central global menace is obscuring our national ability to comprehend the historically unprecedented challenge which is being posed in our time by a massive global political awakening and thus is obstructing our ability to deal effectively with the global political turmoil that this awakening is generating that they can take their wealth outside the system and save in the real form of money that they have deprived humanity with for generations. Silver is so rare that it is estimated that there's only one-tenth of an ounce of silver above ground for every human being on earth. Most of humanity now has not even touched a single ounce of silver in their entire life, which is totally the opposite of how humanity has functioned all the way up until about a century ago where silver was the most pervasive, most widely used form of money ever. And in studying how far gone our system is, I sought to protect my family and be my own central bank and to save in the form of money of silver outside of this doomed debt and death paradigm. When I started stacking silver, I bought the most ounces for, for the least amount of money as I could only to realize that my wealth was then tied to a manipulated paper silver price and that my silver would never gain in premium over the raw commodity value. I then saw the value of one ounce government coins as a smaller, more recognizable form of silver to the 100 ounce bars that I once collected. But soon I became very bored of buying the exact same uninspired government coin. So if you don't like how something is, go out and create something better. I sought to create my own privately minted conscious designs to make silver stacking fun again. By far, the coin that I hated the most was the Canadian maple leaf. On one side, you have a boring maple leaf, and on the other side, you have an elitist criminal whose family has invaded nine out of the ten countries in this world, whose family supported the rise of the Nazis, and today is one of the world's largest landowners in the world. I didn't like what governments were doing to our money, I didn't want to support government mints, and I certainly didn't want to support an elitist royal with her ugly, resting bitch face on the back of my silver. One of the very first designs that I did in the Silver Shield collection was called Slave Queen that sought to expose the blind worship of so many into unconsciously supporting these debt and death mongers. Keep Calm and Slave On served as an awakening to the conscious individuals who rebel against such tyranny. I had mentioned before that the maple leaf itself is a boring design, and that if we were going to design any leaf for a silver coin, it should be cannabis. This natural wonder has been treated much in the same way silver has by these criminal elite, because it is a natural solution to so many of these unconscious collectivist problems. Silver is the solution for our debt-based Ponzi scheme. Cannabis is the solution for many industrial, medical, and psychological problems that humanity faces. Now I've combined both of these designs as a permanent reminder that the Canadian maple leaf is the antithesis of the reason why I stack silver. The Royal Highness is now available 
at goldenstatement.com. Thank you.